Hi guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. A thrifty bride shows you how. Hello my pretties. I am uh, setting my phone like this on the pod, on the tripod, so that you can see. Today I'm going to show you a quick and easy and low cost way of making a wine or champagne or even apple cider if you're having a non-alcoholic wedding. Uh, I had glued, this is going to be a nautical theme, so I had glued on this nice little strip, this little bright strip, I had glued some seashells and the ever popular silver um, bling, the little glitter strips that I always use that I told you girls about. And so I have glued these seashells, um, spaced them out with the silver wannabe bling. And then I have either, these were from the dollar store. These were dollar store finds. I either have a nice, tin vase or canister or you can go with I went with uh, one of these also this is plastic but it looks so nice and that blue is really pretty for the nautical theme or for any theme that has this color and so yeah so I uh Glued the um, shells in advance, and I had one shell left to put on with the sea, the, 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 the seashells. And you can get these by the bag full. Um, let's see if I can just go like this now. So, yeah. So, see, they even come in this big of a sack. These are landscaping seashells, um, an assortment of ocean seashells I bought this big bag because I do a lot with nautical themes so I buy these by the bag full but and those are cheap I think that was like I ordered it online those are like maybe 12 or 15 bucks not even and then I also get these because see these brings you all the real white ones pretty white ones so, you know, I, sh I hunt around, I shop around for the different seashells. I also go to the beach and get the conch, the conch, the uh, regular seashells, the ones you find. You can get them yourself if you need them. But, yeah, so um, I'm going to go ahead and glue that last strip. And maybe there you can see it better. All I did was cut a, a strip of this nice glittery ribbon and it's gonna go around the, the the size of this around the top of this um this cylinder once i'm done right so it's gonna sit like that around the top of the border of this nice blue cylinder see it and it's very very low cost see that gonna sit right around there so all you do is you cut a ribbon and then this the little silver this you can get it like this in a pack or you can get it in a spew member it's awesome awesome it, it just looks so glittery especially if you're having an evening event even in the daytime it's daytime now and look how nice and shiny that looks blingy okay so all I did was you, you cut the, the ribbon to the length of your container that you're going to be using. Put If it's a nautical theme, put your seashells, a strip of seashells, a strip of glitter. A strip of seashells, strip of glitter. And then, hold on guys. Let me just point this down so you can see there. Okay. And I took my last one and I uh, put the, the glue around the edge of the seashell. Be careful not to get yourself burned. The glue gun is hot. Put it around the edge 
And then I'll just place it on my ribbon strip there. Okay, so I placed that one there. That was the last one I wanted on there for now. Now, so you might say, okay, so that's simple. Yeah, but you're going to take this, your jar, you're going to take your jar, whichever jar you use, and I recommend you get these. These are little shrink wrap um, bags. They're supposed to be for shrink wrapping, but... What I discovered was a long time ago when I made these, because I make these a lot um, to, to sell them on my Etsy. But took my shrink wrap. Took my shrink wrap. This is supposed to be for a big um a big uh what you call it a big so I take the um shrink wrap or you can find clear bags. Sometimes when I got the clear bags I use the clear bags. But in this case, if you don't have clear bags and you just find shrink wrap or any clear wrap, you take it and you insert it into your cylinder as so. You make sure that it's overlapping. So to when you throw your little ice in there, right? And then you fold it over the top of your little cylinder there, right? See that? And so it forms a nice little barrier for your ice. Then you're going to just go ahead and trim. Trim around it. Trim it, trim it, trim it. Trim it around, okay? At the border because you know more or less the width. You could even measure it up against your ribbon. But like if you know more or less the width of your ribbon... Then you just trim it, trim it, trim it, trim it. Just keep on trimming it, ladies. Okay, we trim it. We get that out of there, excess. I don't throw nothing away, I always save everything. Okay, so you're gonna go like this, right? See that? Now we have it around the top of our container. Now, what we do is, Usually, you can put just a little bit, just a little tip to help you of glue to help you hold it in place while you get your ribbon on it, okay? You don't want to put too much but because it's, it's plastic. But you put a little bit of glue just to hold it in place right there. So that way, just a little bit more, guys. That way, when you go to put your ribbon down, it holds for you, okay? Put a little bit. Nobody's going to see that. Because remember, we're going to decorate the border of our cylinder, jar, vase, whatever you want to call it. But you're getting it. They have these at the Dollar Tree. All different kinds. They have this kind, ladies. Or they have this kind. Which we're going to check it out also. They have all kinds, but you find you a cylinder, okay? So you found your container, a cylinder, and you lined it with the clear um, shrink wrap. If, if you don't have the clear bag, sometimes they don't have it, you could use the shrink wrap. Once you use the shrink wrap, you put it in there, you line it. You already done did your ribbon because you measured it, and you cut it to the size of your Boss, make sure you put the ends to meet where the back of the cylinder is. In this case, it's right here because you can see the seam going down the back. And there, now there underneath and up top, you want to put enough glue to start your ribbon from right there. Okay. 
You start your ribbon. And don't worry about the little excess glue. The good thing about the glue is that it dries and you can just peel it all off. It'll all come right out. Okay? So we go ahead and try to use it right where you have put the other ones at. Okay? Right there. Keep going around. Keep gluing. Always put good amounts of glue on your creations so they won't come off throughout the whole event, throughout your ceremony, throughout whatever it is you're making them for. Okay? So we go around and we put glue. After we put glue, we go and we make sure that our ribbon that's already decored is in place. And you can go like that, like I said, because the good thing about the glue is you can work with it. Okay? And you go around again. Put another one right there where that one was. This is very low cost um, champagne, wine, or even apple cider holder. Wedding holder, birthday holder, um, bucket. You want to call it a... Some people use them for ice. You can make these little ice buckets if you just want to have ice on the table. But, you know. Then if you have a little bit, see how nice? See how nice? And see the plastic inside? That's so that the water won't leak from the ice because you're going to have a little bit of ice to chill whatever drink it is you're going to have there, whether it be apple cider, whether it be wine, champagne. If you have a little bit of the of the plastic showing, just trim it off. Just trim it off if you have a little bit of the plastic showing. Trim it off, okay? And also, if you can't trim it off, just go like that with the scissor. Tuck it under. Tuck it under, okay? Make sure you tuck it under. And then, see, I'm just taking this out. All right, so we got that. See that? See that? See that? Now, you could go even further. If you want to embellish it even more, you can. You can add more embellishings to it. Um, you could add stones. There's the back. I got to put one right there in the back. Remember, always go... All the way around with your decoration, guys. Okay, so in this case, I'm going to go ahead and put, I got to put a stone. I mean, uh, not a stone, a uh, shell. And remember, around the edges, carefully not to get burned. Around the edges with your seashell. And then you take it and you put it on your... Um, ribbon, and you always put that that one in the back. Then you go and you cut you another piece of this. This comes like this, the little glitter. Cut you a little piece. Measure it to the size of the other ones. They have four. You count four. One, two, three, four. In my case, there were four, but in your case, it could be five. It could be six. It all depends on how wide you want to make the the border of your vase of your champagne holder or wine holder or like we said apple cider holder okay so i'll put a little glue on it because i don't want it to break off when i'm not using it boom there we go and that was the back so now I done finished the back and it's even all the way around. So now, as I said, you can you can do more if you want. I mean, I, I can add more to it. I can add stones going down or I can put a stone in each one of these if I choose to. You know, if you really wanted to get really crazy with it, you could put stones in this or you could put color if you wanted to do color. Then you could have done these flat ones. 
and put them in there as colors, you know. However, I kind of like it like this because, as you can see, it's very simple, it's low cost, and it's quick, quick to make. The key is making sure you got a liner inside from a bag or from shrink wrap. Uh, painting your ribbon that goes around the top with your theme, with your colors, and that's it. Let me see. And so, as you can see, I have put a nice little bottle of, um, oop, that's my dog. Say hello, Rico. <laughs> so, this is how it looks. You got the ice chilling. You got your, let me push this back a little bit, guys. You got your bottle in there. And you have your holder. Really nice. Just. Let me see. Am I doing this right, guys? Let's see. There we go. And there we go. See it? And that would look nice on every table. Just one with whatever. It holds even a bigger one of those. It's just that I didn't have nothing bigger to show, but. Something even bigger than that will look nice on your table. See that? Quick and easy. You can make those in like psh, 10 minutes flat. 10, 15 minutes flat. And remember, you can always alternate these. Change them out to whatever it is you want to do. Whether it be diamonds, stones, pearls, um, these type beads. I mean, anything. This is so easy. And they have these. At the Dollar Tree. These containers, they always have them. Or you can go with, like we said, one of these and still do the same concept. Any cylinder that you find, you can do that concept. And that will make a nice piece for your tables. Okay, guys? So, remember, ribbon, plastic... Light lining and a cylinder and whatever your theme is and you have instant champagne or bottle holders for your wedding or for your birthday or for whatever event you're doing and these are so low cost these were only a dollar from the dollar store okay so for less than not even five bucks you can have a nice fancy wine or champagne holder and it will look really nice on your special day thanks for tuning in hey guys thanks for tuning in don't forget to subscribe to the channel press the bell for um future videos and comment and like if you have any questions or if you want me to um, go over it with you in more details. Feel free to comment below and I'll be happy to um, expound on it. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to do the clear one. We'll do a little twist to it with the decorations. But as you can see, look how nice that looks on the tables. Okay? It's low cost, quick and easy champagne or wine or beer or apple cider container holder for your table okay thanks for tuning in guys